Today we're spending an hour with this Lovecraftian inspired top-down real-time strategy survival game called Chromosome Evil 2. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of missed the first one, but the first one got some very positive reviews. And I got an early advance key, so why not? Uh, the story behind it is it's a Lovecraftian, can I say that again? Lovecraftian Evil has returned to Earth, unleashing a deadly flesh organism upon humanity. As a result, the government broke down. Society as we know it has ceased to exist. It's our job to ensure the rest of humanity left survives so we can repopulate the Earth by cockroaches and once again assert our dominance as the alpha species by decimating everything around us. And that's basically more of the same for us, right? Sounds fun. A planned release is a quarter for two... 2023, and I was told that this will be available for everyone in a couple weeks. I'm leaving a link in the description below. You can wishlist this if it looks to be a fit for you. Of course, I pinned the link in the chat as well for those of you watching it live. So this is th this game was looked kind of interesting to me. Um, it's like a pixel game. Let's just go into a new game and just get started. We got the tutorial. How you doing, Rivers? Is this your game, Christian Pope? How did you know that I, that I was going to be streaming this? Did I did I say something? Oh, I better be really quiet. I, I got to warn you when you guys gave me this uh, when you, when you guys gave me the opportunity to play this game. I mean, everybody in chat will tell you I'm left-hander living in a right-hand world, which basically means I can screw up uh, I can screw up something that looks super easy. I can mess it up. Two hours before the invasion event. Well, cool. Well, I'm glad that we got one of the developers in here. Your squad was sent with the highest priority within the heart of the canyon to extract a scientist. Now, I am going to put this as like a separate VOD as well, so that way um, I can separate the games and people that can, you know, get the algorithm working on here. Reading the briefing, you learned that the military sent an early expedition along with the scientists to a specific uh, cave to investigate a strange signal. Communications with the expedition was lost a few hours ago. Oh, there aren't any trees to crash into. See, there we go. Here we go. Second developer is here, too. Very nice. I'm surprised you guys... How did, how did y'all you know I was going to stream this? Because I didn't like... I don't think I put uh, the, uh, the name of the game in just yet. All other information is beyond your security clearance. Hopefully I can pause this while it's uh, for real-time strategy, because I will screw the pooch here really quick. It's in your title. We are magicians. Ah, it's titled. Yeah, that's what it is. Oops. Such an idiot. All right, uh, let's see, unit interface, objective tab. There you go, move all your units to the to deployment zone. We have four left. I've already started screwing this up. Let me see. Gonna move these guys? Not yet. Cool, all right, let's pop out. Open the deployment doors and let's hop, uh, hope that this will be quick, okay? So open the door, select any unit with the LMB. Got it. Order the unit to move to the exit uh, zone with RMB. There we go. Got it. Moving the extraction point. Don't leave without me, okay? Go ahead and get him out too. Oh, we're all going, baby. We're out here and safe. There's very, very much XCOM vibes to it. Use the mouse wheel to adjust uh, the, the field zoom. Okay, got it. WASAD, yep. You can navigate the squad by pressing one, two keys. Okay. We'll get them all just in case there's like a grenade or something comes at us. Yes, it also displays signs of distress, and we should investigate the mobile laboratory to understand the situation better. Perfect. I know why you guys sent me this. It was to beta test it because you know that I'm gonna if if you can figure out all the things that I can screw up, you can figure out everything. You'll have like a you'll have like a wonderful game. Because I'm like kind of like like dull. I'm like a dull pencil. 
when it comes to uh, understanding stuff. Let's go in here. We can interact with this thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, deal with this guy. It looks like it was abandoned in a hurry. Saving the best for last, I guess. At the first glance, the samples they found seem to be older than life on Earth. Old as dirt. From that, I got it from the mobile uh, lab. It seems they were researching some sort of cell organism they found in that cave. What cave is that? Could it be that cave? Cool. Sensors pick up movement inside the uh, cave. Let's uh, let's do it, baby. There's no time to waste. We must find that scientist. We're coming, baby. Strike team, proceed to the cave. If you encounter resistance, you're author author authorized to automatically use lethal force. Too bad we can't. Can I? Can I grab them all like that? I can. You know, because select them one by one is for, uh, what is this right here? Can I interact with this? No. Let's go, baby. Into the cave we go. We're almost on the exit grid. Guess I need to, uh, there we go. There's one gone. Two gone. Three gone. No one's getting left behind, baby. Music is loud. I'll, I'll, I'll switch that. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Let me let me do it. It's nail mail here. Yeah, you're right. It is kind of loud. That better, you guys? Rescue the scientists, locate the... Oh, there's some. There's a dead person up here. I see dead bodies. The team established contact with the scientists. He uh, appears wounded. Unfortunately, everyone else from the expeditions appear to have sustained fatal wounds. And there are, it looks like, like there are like cockroaches and stuff all around him. Where is he? Oh, there he is right there. I don't like this. Check with the medical. Check with the scientist if he needs medical assistance. Extract him ASAP. We'll just get a homeboy here to do it. Thank God we must, guys. We must leave this place at once. But we want to go a little bit deeper. Well, I mean, I had to because I have to interact with this guy. And it looks like he's, like, maybe uh, giving him some medical assistance. In the meantime, we're going to come up here and see if there's anything uh, over here. Picking up movement. One human on form comes straight to our, for our boys. Okay. That's all right. All these, uh... Oh, they're outside. Oh, no, 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 no. Here, 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 here it comes. Oh, shit. I got that equipped. I can fire, maybe? Oh, God, this is going to be a quick one. How do I fire? All right, this isn't working the way I was thinking it was going to work. I mean, I got good equipment. Select our weapon. Okay, I selected it. Oh, there we go. There we go. See, I told, I told you, uh, Christian Pops, it could be... A, it, maybe he needs to do something too, huh? 
No, don't go that way. Everybody fall back. Is he done? There we go. Now we can get we can get out of here. Run! Oh shit! Cool. We'll improve the chore. Sorry for the or uh, sorry for being one of the first test subjects. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Something big is moving fast towards our strike team. What's happening? My guy's dying. Oh hell! Where's the scientist? Does the scientist make it? Ah, here we here we go. Told you, man. I can screw up a wet dream, man. You think you're gonna be you're gonna end it happy, and it winds up being just MIA. We lost communication. The, the entire squad got wiped out. Close the doors and drive us out of here now. Okay. I can't do it. It's too late. Wah! Chapter one, the introduction. Okay, cool. At least it was fast. At least there were no light bulbs in involved, right? Soon after, the, the signal emitted from the cave took over all the transmissions and sent just one message. The Ancient One is coming. Where's Triple G when, you, when, when we need him? How do you say that again? Is, is it Chihula? Who or whatever? Followed a br by a brief moment of silence and soon after they came. The Ancient One is coming. It all happened so fast, they started coming from below the earth, all over the globe. Swarms of hostile, humanoid creatures. They assimilated the flesh and used our own bodies against us. One by one, governments fell. The army was overthrown, and society as we knew it was no more. As a final lack of retaliation, the army deployed its deadliest creation, the nuclear bomb. The satellite network was compromised. The brave military men had to manually detonate the nuke at the point of origin, sacrificing themselves for all of humanity. A few weeks after the nuke detonation. Welcome, Commander. What should we call you? Call me Commander Drunk. I think. Can I do can I do drunk? Drunk. Use enemy difficulty for the duration of this playthrough. This will affect enemy health. We'll go normal. We won't do hard. Choose your game mode drunk. Normal? Iron Man. We'll go normal. Just in case I die with before the hour's over. Choose your playthrough permanent bonus perk. Theory management. This will enable you to gain XP and level up slightly faster than normal. Or this will give you, you a bit of extra bullets each time you're, uh, you loot ammunition crates. Huh. We're going to give, give our people XP because they look like they had some good fists going on. Commander, try hard. Simmer down, Ian. One of the few remaining human bastions, the military outpost Prometheus. I know about Prometheus. During night shift guard duty, the secondary uh, generator powers down. This is the third time this week. You decide to send one of your men to the basement to fix it. 
bum, 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 da, dun, da, dun, dun. Doors take time to open, and the timer can differ from door to door. You can decrease the unlocking time by sending more units, increasing their lock picking skill. Cool, that's kind of cool. Guess I got to go down there, huh? Time to open that door, baby. In order to fix the generator, build environmental objects, you will need the construction kit uses something. You will Okay, so we need a construction kit. So maybe we'll go up here. Wait a minute. Is this it right here? That might be the construction kit. Let's fix it. Yeah, you do. Uh, maybe you don't. Scroll to see all of... Um, all text and options interface size smaller. Let's do it. Where is the options on here? I just got continue and exit. I ah, got it. Got it. I see what you're saying. There we go. In order to fix the generator, build uh, win window uh, barricades and fix specific environment objects, you will need a unit with a construction kit. The construction kit uses common materials as ammunition. Doors take time to open and the timer can differ from door to door. You can decrease the uh, unlocking. Uh, we've already read that, so. Got it. Go ahead and open this door now. Are there anything interact? Oh, we can search here. See if there's anything else interactive here. Not sure what I'm grabbing, but it's got to be something good, right? If, it, if I get this right, we'll have electricity in the entire building. Get it right, baby. D done. All electrical equipment should be working now. Well, I guess we can exit, huh? A little green on the X means we can. Now a few moments pass by and the alarm starts to sound, pushing everyone into an adrenaline state. Check to see if you need a fuse. Yeah, don't need, that's PTSD, PTSD, stop. Checking the monitors, you see the movement sensor from outside the base perimeter has been breached. You hope this is just another system malfunction, but looking out the window, you see unnatural humanoid shapes and the shape shadows coming towards the base, confirming the worst. The order to evacuate the base has been given and you quickly rush to assemble your squad. In addition to your first squad member, what other soldier would you like to add to your quest? So we got knife and shield. Once we don't, uh, since we don't have a steady supply of ammunition, we need a guy who can handle close combat. Uzi and knife. I don't need the strongest in the specific field. I need a balanced approach. And a shotgun and pistol. I need someone who can use, uh, who can cause a lot of damage at a short range. Go ahead and do a shotgun and pistol because shotguns are the best. When I was, you know, like if I was going to buy a gun, I don't own a gun here in Memphis, Tennessee, even though it is like really, really dangerous and stuff. I think we're like, we're like a third world country at this point. But if I did have a gun, it'd be a shotgun because I would, in, in my haste and panic, I would probably be able to shoot uh, and actually hit something. Before we go on the mission, you remember that the squad's mule unit is still in the workshop for repairs, so you order your men to quickly go and make those repairs now in order to retrieve the mule. You also get some assistance from your base security team.
What's going on here? Hold the line. We must have time to evacuate. The base has been compromised. And the decision to leave the base was taken. Take what uh, what you can and rendezvous to the hangars. Okay, so we need to... Uh, we can repair the barricade. Repair the barricade. Um, I think that we probably just need to grab these guys, right? And just move them over this way. Oh, it's just these guys right here. Got it, got it. Okay. Get out of here. Come on, repair it real quick, baby. That's how we get out. Drunk, I'm giving you temporary command of the security team. Get them out of there. All right, let's get out of there. I think we have we have we have we fixed it. We have. Is there anything else we can grab over here? Doesn't look like it. How do I get out? Can get out that way. Oh, wait a minute, I can go this way. Oh man, panic engaged. I know, right? I mean, I, well, I don't want to like, I got like extra, extra uh, pressure on me because the developers are here. I don't want to like screw up their game, you know? Well, your, well, your squad heads for the APC garage bay. They pass near the kitchen and ammunition de de depot. Depot. Guess I got to hit the next button. Having the mule fixed uh, provides them the advantage of carrying heavy supplies, but the time pressure only allows them to pick one. So what are we gonna do? Go to the kitchen. Food is essential for survival. Or am ammunition depot. Hmm. What should I do, y'all? Should I go to the kitchen, or should I go to the get some ammo? The kitchen, of course. Of course, you would say that snow beetle. Rivers in says ammo. Oh, I'm so confused now. I'm torn. Ammo. All right, it's a battery. The mule has a battery. Oh, wait a minute. Let's open this door. Should be food someplace. Ah, right, here we go. Get wrecked. Just disappointed. Never start an argument with the man who can end you. Uh, did we get everything? Oh, we can search up here too. We're just gonna let him. We're in guard while we while we do all this stuff. I 
don't know if this is very smart, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sniper reporting for duty, sir. Probably food in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. We might need food. Oh, we got we got everything. Can I grab this guy too? Can we get everything that we need? Hold on. Let me make sure. Ah, oh, there's another one right over here. And there's another one right there as well. And we got two more left. We got this one right here as well. Looks like we're going to be all right. Kind of intense a little bit. We get out now. We'll let the mule go first. Squad is very is tired, but very close to the APC garage when you suddenly the general contacts you. Drunk, we have a delicate situation that requires your assistance. I need you and the base security team to cover the evacuation of squads Charlie and Epsilon. Copy that, General. We'll do our best to buy time for the evacuation. We're counting on you, son. After you finish, we will rendezvous at the uh, outpost, Little Chiba. I marked the location on the map. Godspeed, Commander. Just a few meters away from the vehicle bay block, you're presented with a logistical decision on how to approach it. We, we, let's see, what is it? We can go to the hallway. It's overrun with hostile creatures. This will be difficult to pass, but you will find additional resources. Use the vehicle bay by vent, uh, vent system. It is the safest route, but the longest. Or the outside area is straightforward but has a, and has the shortest path, but is also the most dangerous. Go with the hallway. What do you think? Hey, Rivers End, good to see you. Thank you, man. Thanks for hanging with us. That's approved. We approve that message. If we're going any further, would you like to save the game uh, or receive extra fuel for your journey ahead? We'll save the game just in case I die. We got uh, we got at least thirty more minutes here. Bump, 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 bump. Your men have reached the last defensive line. We build the the metapod. Can our mule come with us? I'm assuming this is building. Yeah. Wonder what our mule can do. Wish I could carry this mule this this mule. and search this. Good job, Drunk. The evacuation is in progress. Thank goodness. 
Let me suggest there is an old power alternator in the back room. It can boost electrical currents in our bar if our in our barricades if fixed. I think I need to search though. I'm assuming that's what this is. We got company. Where is it coming from? Maybe I'll just move this guy over so he's not walking so far away. And some more bad news. Our scanners picked up something big coming your way. Oh, boy. Oh, so we need a CT kit or whatever that is to build a turret. But I guess we don't have one. That's too bad. Looks like we're going to be kind of like high and dry, right? We'll search for this and see if maybe there's a CT kit here. Got 13 left. Uh, the Charlie and Epsilon are. Can we? Can I, can I build this? Okay, cool. We actually have a tour we can we can deploy. Let's deploy this one over here as well. Like we need to get out of here. I right, here. Here we go. You have a C uh, kit on, but you should run. Where are we running to? Oh. It looks like there's a there's a big thing over there. We're out of here. Where's my where do, where do our, our our thing go? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Your men and security team get overwhelmed by the flesh abominations. The entire security team gets wiped out and you left Charlie and the Epsilon squads to their fate. You can see your men are tired and demoralized, but the APC is near. Meanwhile, you manage to get to the APC garage along with de the designated driver. As you enter the, the vehicle, you must start the command mode. Soon the driver notices that the uh, garage doors are stuck. Lucky for you, your strike team also arrived at the scene. They can check the door engine. Before going any further, would you like to save the game or receive extra ammunition for your journey ahead? We're gonna, we'll save the game. Fix the main gate engine, okay. Did we lose our dude? Oh no, there he is.
Move forward, baby. We are going right, right? Maybe not. Run! For Christ's sake, run! Alright, let's see what we can do. We can search over here. We're going to search over there. I got plenty of ammo. These guys don't stand a chance. What else do we need to do? We can fix this right here. Where's my guy? So many of them. Come on, fix that bad boy. Don't worry about him, okay. Run! To the ABC! You managed to escape the flesh abomination assault. Very nice. As you get further away, you can see the base behind you is burning, but also gives you a short glimpse of huge creatures forming in the darkness. It's not clear that you, to you that they have some sort of mastermind controlling them. This assault seems too organized to be random. Now the journey begins. In five, whatever. Your first priority is to rendezvous, uh, rendezvous with the uh, rest of the reg regiment at the outpost, Little Chiba. In darkness, I crave for your arrival. The road is long and dangerous. You will need to assemble a strong convoy in order to reach the destination alive. Chapter 2. Keep forgetting that I might need to press something. I think. You now have the possibility to travel. We can fast travel now, baby. Look, we got a driver right here. Got a couple of the strike team. Was there a girl on our team? Amazing. We also uh, unlocked the strike team inventory. You have the possibility to equip your strike team as you see fit. That's good. And look at all the bullets that we have. Common materials. These are most common resources. They can be found almost everywhere and are used for crafting and as a main resource for constructing kits. There's that fuel right here. A lot of fuel. Look at all that ammo. 12 gauge uh, shotguns. We have 87 of those. Metals. Uh, we have none of that. Medi medicaments. Salt rifle stuff, uh, mechanical components, food, explosive. Do each of these guys have something? Yeah, look. Cool. To tra travel to a location, you simply need to click on it. Just keep in mind that traveling takes time and it consumes fuel. Got it. Cool, so we're gonna take the convoy out. I guess we gotta go this way? Do I just press it?
As you drive through the forest, you encounter a damaged bus with wounded survivors and a priest who seems to have gone batshit crazy. You order the driver to stop the APC and send the strike team to assess the situation. The strike team immediately confirms that the bus is salvageable and the survivors are not infected. So you order them to fix the bus engine and offer first aid to the survivors. At the same time, you're a bit worried that the priest's behavior can attract unwanted attention. So you advise the strike team to move fast and leave the priest there if he does not cooperate. Okay, so we probably need to interact with this guy, right? Let's see, we'll come over here and interact with him. Oh, that's our uh, APC guy, isn't it? Did I get him all the way? I'm gonna interact with him again. Oh, we got a lot of people that we need to interact with, huh? We might not want to interact with this guy because he's the priest, right? Might be a little bit faster. Oh, I guess we need to repair the bus first, huh? Let's repair the bus. I mean, we can't repair the bus. Oh, right here. Kiss me on the bus. Now, will they eat? Will these guys eat? Uh. Oh, shit. Keep forgetting that that's that guy. Guess we'll interact with them. Wish this. I wish I could move this. Kind of in the way. We all live in a yellow school bus. A yellow school bus. A yellow school bus. Yeah, I wish these pop-ups would be someplace else. I mean, I get that it's it kind of it kind of tells a story, but at the same time, it's uh it's 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 kind of blocking the view. Can I pick him? Yeah, I can. We can safely extract him over here. Now, do we go back to our APC or do we go into the into the school bus? give him back up. I mean they all say green. Maybe they maybe they'll they'll go away here in a second. Maybe I uh, try to save him. Can can he will he go in? He might go in. Yeah, he's going to go in. There we go. As soon as the strike team fixes the bus engine, the survivors immediately go in and join your convoy. 
You learn that the priest has gone insane and sabotaged the bus. Upon learning this, you immediately remove all regrets for leaving him behind. Did we leave him behind? I don't even remember that. The survivor also tells you that one of them went to find help a bit further down the road and ask you if it's possible to retrieve him as well, and you agree and continue down the road. Move on down the road. You can now assign crew members to various tasks. All rescue survivors will be available here. Cool. So we actually have like a... Where, where are, are our survivors? Maybe up here? Is that right? <laughs> we all live in a gray APC. These locations are optional, but exploring them can provide bonus resources for the convoy. As you move forward, based on the bus survivor's direction, you find your, their friend near a road accident. Probably it happened moments before the invasion. It seems like he found an abandoned ambulance and attempts to uh, attempted to start the engine. You're, you order your strike team to assist him. The road ahead also seems to be blocked by fallen trees, so you might want to order your man to clear the path or he'll be forced to ram them and damage the ambulance. But then again, if situation proves diffi too difficult, it's better to extract your strike team at the cost of a damaged ambulance. It also seems like it's about to rain. Do you want to wait and send your strike team after the rain is over or wait for the rain to stop and then deploy? Well, if we wait for the rain, uh, aggro will be raised by uh, one because of the noise, but my troops need, but my troops need maximum visibility. Deployed during the rain, it'll be harder for the enemy to hear us, but their visibility will be limited. I'm only happy when it rains. I'm only happy when it's complicated. The rain started, visibility is low, and the troops get deployed. What are we doing again? We're doing something oh, over here. When they say troops, they mean the duo, right? He's like he's like my Batman to their Robin. All right, so we should be able to do something here, right? Let's see. That's that. We're gonna keep this guy. What, what can we do here? Can we do anything here? Oh, we gotta remove the obstacle. Got it. We gotta remove this obstacle too. Do not turn on the siren. There's company. Where's the company coming from? We got this. Beautiful. Another obstacle. Damn it, we're gonna have to we're we're gonna have to like race back to our APC too. This ain't so bad. Where are they coming from? Come on, baby. 
Hunger, meat. I wonder where these guys are going. Like, is he gonna use the ambulance as a shield? <laughs> It's Blackwood all over again. Oh, that's, that's, that gives you some PTSD, doesn't it? We got this, baby. Yeah, I turned around. You were gone, Snow Beetle. Like, what happened? And then I looked at the, I looked at the uh, talk screen, and you were dead. Is that everything? I guess it's time to go head back to the uh, to the casa, right? You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Looking good, looking good. Beautiful. You managed to escort the ambulance safely. This will be a good addition to the convoy. We got an ambulance, a school bus, and now an APC. After debriefing the uh, survivor, you learned that the other military convoy just passed a few hours ago, headed to Little Chiba Outpost. Immediately ordered the driver to rush in that direction to catch up with the convoy. Another storm approaches your your location, and the driver asks for instructions. We can drive slowly through the storm. It is better to drive slowly and safely at the cost of some extra food, or we can drive fast through the storm. There will be a low risk of damaging... Uh, vehicles, but will not waste any resources. But you know what I'm gonna do? I got the need for speed, man. We're gonna we're gonna drive fast. The vehicle sustained some minor damage, but you managed to pass through the storm. I wonder if that gets rolled. Cool. We now have the uh, possibility to heal and cure in injured personnel. And scout missions will unlock the uh, path to additional explorable locations. Very nice. So what, what can we do here? We can do... Let's see. That We can heal. Let's see if we do this. Production. All of our guys look okay right now. Assigned crew. We have driver, driver, and driver. We got a little bit of uh, little groups. I haven't really looked at this yet. Says I can train too. Let's see. Let's let's see if we if we right click these guys. There's a an aggro uh, meter. I wonder if I move him. No medical personnel. I don't have any medical. Oh wait a minute. Do I have more people up here? No, I don't. Oh, so I can actually add my... Oh, there's my work team right there. Okay, well, can I Can I maybe... Can I push them over here? No effect. I'm just looking at all this, you guys. You have management tab in the corner. Where's the... In the corner. This corner? From the bus menu. Okay, let's let me let me escape this. There's a convoy. We must uh, assign to the bus menu. What does that mean? It's the uh, one after the inventory in the corner. 
right here you were in it a few minutes ago am I in it now I'm so used to dragging and dropping this is the production Okay, that's a healing. Assigned crew. Right here. Okay, got it. So these are locked, but I can I can actually add more people, right? Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. Finally! Finally, I get it right! Can I go over here? Scouting. We can scout to the... Oh, we can scout the forest. Okay. You're about to send your strike team to the battlefield. How do you want to deploy? Send them without APC and mule support so enemies are not alerted. Recommend for partic particular for particular ob objective deployment. Go full force. We'll do one more mission. Get to the high ground and look around. Okay. I might not have equipped my home one homeboy. Okay, it's not there. It's up here. Maybe it's over here. Where is it? Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Oh, I see the high ground. I see it. It's over here. Maybe, maybe I should let homeboy go. Ah, right here. Let him interact. Maybe not. There might be too many. Oh, he's out of am ammunition, son of a bitch. Run! Run! There's too many! in there oh that was just bad I don't have any ammo I'm out of I'm out of shotgun ammo now well 
We've we have passed our our hour. This game is called Chromosome Type Two. And hey, can you tell me when this is coming out, Christian? Do you guys have a uh, release date for this? Looks pretty uh, pretty damn uh, pretty damn fun. It looks kind of deep as well. You can you can you can say all your numbers, Ian, if you want. But it, it didn't happen, right? I, I, Pros Pro came through it again. Sometime in November, I hope. Well, good luck to you, man. And thank you for uh, being a part of this. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be p making this as a VOD, so I'll be separating this and like throwing it up there so maybe you'll get some uh, some looksies here and there. And if you want to, you can always uh, you can always wish list this. The link is up at, up at the top in the chat window, and I'm going to put one in the VOD as well down below in the description if you want to do that. Thank you so much for, uh, for hanging with us today, y'all. I might come back with an Apocalypse Z. Uh, coming up here shortly. I'm going to take a little break before and kind of get myself together, you know. Uh, y'all y'all have a great uh, rest of your day, and maybe I'll see y'all in about 30 minutes. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>